One small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? As Joker hits theaters, survivors and victim family members of the 2012 tragic mass shooting that occurred during a screening of The Dark Knight Rises in Aurora, Colorado are speaking out, writing a letter to studio Warner Brothers obtained exclusively by The Hollywood Reporter. Since premiering at the Venice Film Festival, critics of Joker have pointed out how the movie's storyline mirrors the United States' current climate, saying the film glamorizes and emboldens a type of thinking that can inspire mass shooters. As Joaquin Phoenix's character, the troubled Arthur Fleck transforms from a harmless nobody into a murderer. Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Joker arrives in theaters seven years after the tragic mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado, where a gunman shot and killed 12 people and injured 70 others. Now, Sandy Phillips, the mother of a young woman killed in the movie theater attack, has crafted a letter which Aurora survivors and victim family members have signed to Warner Brothers, urging the studio behind both movies to donate to organizations that aid victims of gun violence. The Hollywood Reporter's Ryan Parker was the first to talk to Phillips and read the compelling letter. I know Sandy from from covering the Aurora Theater shooting. I was one of the first reporters there that night, morning, and uh, covered it intensely while I was at the Denver Post. And I have spoken to a number of the families and victims for many years and kept in contact with a few of them, such as Sandy, and that's how this came about. The film has given her a lot of anxiety, and she's worried that it's going to give other victims and survivors a lot of anxiety as well. Sandy's worst fear is that this film somehow is going to inspire someone to commit another horrible act of violence on a crowd. Um, she just doesn't want to take any chances. Although there is a survivor who we spoke to uh, in the story who says that they're not worried about that, they still really want to see the film. And there's even a parent who also lost a child who said they don't believe that that will necessarily be the case that the film would ever inspire someone to lash out. That's just her feeling. The letter is addressed to Warner Brothers CEO Ann Sarnoff and signed by multiple survivors and victim family members. The letter's asking the studio a few things. One of them is to donate to uh, organizations that help victims of PTSD and anti-gun violence uh, organizations, and to also not to donate to any politician who has any sort of NRA uh, affiliation. For more on this story and to read the full letter, head over to THR.com.